I'm finishing up my, my touring year with a present to myself, and that's going to see Chief. So uh, I get there the next day, and then I get a random text on my phone, and, it, and it's the guy that goes, hey, this is Marshall with Eric. Um, he heard that you're going to be here tonight. He wants to hang out later. And I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> I'm like, he's like, just hang out at the end of the show. I'll tell you where to come to. So I was with a bunch of buddies and, uh, and Marshall just goes, Hey, you know, uh, I couldn't bring everybody back. I didn't ask to bring him, but didn't want to. So, um, anyway, at the end of the show, Marshall texts me and I meet him and I'm, I'm waiting there for a little while. And Eric's kind of, uh, talking to his family and stuff. And then, uh, I, Marshall comes and gets me and he brings me back to the back and I turn the corner and there's Eric. And the first thing he says to me is, damn, man, am I really that gray? <laughs> <laughs> and I go, no. He goes, man, he goes, that was pretty good last night. He goes, I got about 20 people that texted me this morning asking me why I was in Salt Lake City last night. So, <laughs> um, and, you know, that was a really good icebreaker. And I tell you what, I spent, I spent three hours with Eric that night. And that was when I finally got to tell him what his music and what those albums have meant to me. And... And I left that room that night feeling like for, for the first time ever that maybe I truly, uh, and not that I didn't feel this before, but just, man, I, I belong. Because Eric's in here and we're talking shop and we're talking about songs and he's asking me my opinion on uh, this song or that song, my opinion on what he's doing. And really, and whether he cared or not, making, it, making me truly feel like, um, that he cared what I had to say. And, and, and I got to tell him, you know, the reason that I'm here today, the reason that I've, that I ever even moved to Nashville is because 2006 inside Georgia theater. Um, and I'll forever go back to that moment. And we got to talk about lightning and we got to talk about, uh, the battle of Betty's love, which is a song that Eric wrote, um, that I found through my publisher that he, uh, that he wrote back in 2000, Four. I mean, it's 18 years old, and uh, and it, and to my knowledge, and then we then we got the courage to ask if I could record it. And to my knowledge, I'm one of only about a handful of people that's ever got to cut an Eric Church song. And that, I mean, I can't even put a, I can't even like find a word that that you, describes the feeling of that. You, it's, Morgan, Keith Urban, uh, Terry Clark, Terry Clark cut "World Needs a Drink." Yeah, and and. And I just said five because I, there's got to be another, but that's the only four that I know. Um, and then he, it's funny, he brought it up and said, man, that's, I, I love that song. And it just fell, fell between the cracks of album one and two. And, and those, that happens all the time. It's happened, you know, it just happens because we write all the time. And, and, uh, and he, he said, man, it's an honor that it's going to see the light of day. And for someone who I respect to do it means a lot. And for Eric to say that to me, it's like, man, what in the world is life right now? And so I just, you know, for, that's kind of my story of when I got to talk to Eric about what his music means to me, but I think I want to use that opportunity even more to just go, you know, there's a reason he is who he is, man. He's just, uh, and, and, and why you're as good of friends as you are because um, the, the guy is just uh, kind of like Luke in the sense where I say, is he as cool as everybody thinks he is? He's cooler and is, you know, they say sometimes you shouldn't meet your heroes because maybe they're not as cool. Well, I thank God I did because even cooler than I could have imagined and so just <laughs> graceful towards me. And, um, you know, and, and, and I've got to, uh, I've since got to text with him about Battle of Betty's Love and, and got to send him the final version of it. And to, to have him, for me to get the text back, like, holy crap, man, in all caps, and just <laughs> go, this is everything I could have ever wanted it to be this is freaking awesome y'all killed it and for that to come from the chief you know it's uh that is certainly a thing where you go i never dreamed that big i never dreamed that big you know so um i'm i'm really proud of that and i'm also happy that we finally got the chance to hang and, and got to uh to really truly dive in and me tell him what it what what his music has meant to me